OMG. Harry goes crazy with Joe Rogan's anti-vaccine scandal leading Duke to lose £18 million Spotify deal. Prince Harry is under pressure to end his £18 million Spotify deal after the streaming giant was accused of promoting anti-vaxxer content. Harry, 37, is set to release podcasts on the same platform as Covid jab skeptic Joe Rogan. Yet just four months ago the Duke of Sussex hit out at news and social media outlets for peddling lies about vaccines. He claimed the only way to overcome COVID-19 was to break the system of misinformation. The Joe Rogan experience is Spotify's most listened to podcast, but the American has suggested young people don't need the COVID vaccine. Last night a source said of Harry, refusing to cut ties with Spotify after they've aired anti vaxxer material is incredibly two-faced. If he was that principled, and meant what he said, he'd cut ties, even if at a personal financial cost. Last spring, Rogan suggested that young, healthy people should not get the vaccine, telling one listener, if you're a healthy person, and you're exercising all the time, and you're young, and you're eating well, like, I don't think you need to worry about this. Rock veteran Neil Young, 76, has demanded that Spotify, which has 172 million subscribers, withdraw all his music over its ties to Rogan, 54. In an open letter, since deleted, he slammed the giant for spreading fake information about vaccines. Neil Young's threat to pull his catalogue is only the latest predictable consequence of spending $100 million on the popular, controversial podcaster. On Monday, Neil Young handed the streaming service Spotify an ultimatum in the form of an open letter. I want you to let Spotify know immediately today that I want all my music off their platform, he continued. They can have, Joe, Rogan or Young. Not both. Young, a polio survivor, is at odds with what is Spotify's most important exclusive podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, which has increasingly come under heavy criticism for spreading misinformation about COVID-19 and, in particular, vaccines. Harry and wife Meghan previously caused a stir by signing a £112 million deal with Netflix despite anger over the way his mum Diana was portrayed in its hit drama series The Crown. Four months ago, Duke of Sussex made speech at GQ Awards as he presents prize to team behind Oxford slash AstraZeneca vaccine. The Duke of Sussex blamed overwhelming mass-scale misinformation for Covid vaccine hesitancy and urged governments to address vaccine inequality in poorer countries as he presented an award to the team behind the Oxford slash AstraZeneca jab. Prince Harry warned, until every community can access the vaccine and until every community is connected to trustworthy information about the vaccine, then we are all at risk. He said, as people sit in the room with you tonight, more than a third of the global population has received at least one dose of the vaccine. That's more than five billion shots given around the world so far. Meanwhile, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will work under Spotify in-house producers to live up to their previously signed £18 million deal on podcasts. As per a new advert by Gimlet Projects, Spotify's in-house production arm, the giant is looking to hire a team that can support the Duke and Duchess of Sussex create new podcasts. We're currently assembling a show team that will build and launch a new original show with our tool featuring the voices of high-profile women. The ideal candidate has experience working with high-profile talent, and an interest in the intersection of social activism and popular culture. Adds the advert. In 2020, Meghan and Harry joined James Corden and Elton John for a holiday special podcast. No other content has been produced by the Sussexes ever since. A source told The Sun, Spotify has been waiting a long time for some content from Harry and Meghan and now it appears they have finally taken matters into their own hands. Hiring a raft of in-house talent on Spotify's side will ensure they finally squeeze something out of them as they bid to honor their contract.